Hey, what's up, Dex Tools community? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to surf a blockchain explorer. Before I do so, I just wanted to note that Dex Tools has integrated a bunch of new blockchain networks so you could dig deeper into the whole blockchain sector. So ahead and go to the pair explorer right here and dex tools gives you all the latest transactions so we're going to go ahead and pick a random transaction and then we will end up going to etherscan so today we're going to go over etherscan which is on the ethereum network but learning how to do this you'll be able to navigate any blockchain explorer as they're very similar so you can see right here it's pulled us up to this specific uh, account address but if we go to the front page so we can go over the basics and then we'll go over an, 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 a specific address so this is etherscan.io and if you understand how to read this there's a lot of benefits to doing so first you can understand how to read all of your transactions you can understand where the ethereum is going you can read you know past transactions when for how much um, you can also use etherscan for potentially tracking larger wallets seeing what they're investing into seeing when they're selling and potentially what their movements are on the blockchain so there are a lot of benefits also if you're looking to troubleshoot some of your transactions just knowing how to read the ether scan and the transactions associated with your account are, are super beneficial so let's get right into it um, you have the ether price right here you have transactions right here you have the market cap of ethereum and then you have the guai amount so 35 generally pretty low medium gas price is approximately a dollar and 46 cents you have all the latest blocks right here and all the latest transactions and ethereum's transaction history in 14 days so if we go ahead and uh input a random address that we have you can see that it'll bring us um, to their overview and you can see their balance right here so they have approximately 45.73 ethereum $91,000 and then you can see all their tokens it'll give you like a dropbox of all their tokens and it'll even show their nfts but if you go ahead and click this view expand erc 20 token holdings it'll bring you to kind of like a whole overview of their wallet and you can see net worth in usd net worth in eth and um all that great stuff all the coins you're holding so if you got airdropped a coin or if you're watching a specific wallet you can see what they're holding you can get all the contract addresses and you can add them and trade them yourself as well so if we go back to the account overview then you can see all the recent transactions so it'll show you 25 of the latest transactions but you can click this to get a full list of all the transactions here and you can just go all the way to last if you want to get his first transaction and actually take a look this specific address has enabled an ENS domain name so they will receive um, any transaction people can search them up using this cryptocrad.eth and it makes everything a lot easier if you enable an ENS name to your address so then you have your internal transactions right here you have the ERC 20 token transactions so all the altcoins and you can see right here you know he's using an avalanche bridge for $32,000 that's incoming and then you have the outcoming right here actually if we go back to transactions we can go over a transaction um, so you have the transaction here right here and then you can see the method is transfer so sometimes you'll see like uh, minting NFT or a swap uh, but this is just a simple transfer and then you have the block number here, the age. So this is a pretty active wallet, 15 hours and 17 minutes ago from, and as I mentioned, he has enabled an ENS name. So it's a lot easier instead of looking at the whole address. And then you can see it's USTD. So if we actually click on the transaction hash, you can see the full transaction here. You have the transaction hash right here and you can actually search that above and you'll get this whole transaction. You have the status, which is successful. You have the block number the timestamp so even a year 10 years from now and that's the beauty of the blockchain it's public and transparent you can see where it came from so cryptocrad um, the ethereum address we're looking at and then you can see where it went to as well and then how much they paid in gas so four dollars 
pretty cheap, and then 34 guai. You can take a look at more information here. So you can see all the new burnt and tax saving fees. And if they wanted to input a message in the transaction, they can do so here as well. So that's pretty much the whole transaction. If we go back to the account overview, we were just at the ERC20 tokens, and then these are the NFTs as well. So you can see as ERC721 tokens and ERC1155 tokens, which are both different forms of NFTs. NFTs. So this guy's uh, trading, buying and selling NFTs as well. If you go to the analytics, you can see Ethereum's highest balance. He had 536 Ethereum this year, um, which is quite well, over a million dollars in Ethereum, and then his lowest balance as well. And then you can see it in USD and uh, highest and lowest as well. Also, you can toggle to transactions, transaction fees, ether transfers, token transfers, and transaction uh, heat maps. I also wanted to share that they have a token approval removal. So if you approved uh, tokens for a DeFi protocol and you want to see the approvals, you can come here and post your address and remove all token approvals. So, I mean, if any malicious contracts tries to take your crypto, it's uh, you've removed that allowance. So it's not possible. And I just wanted to show you guys, you can actually search an ENS name as well. So this is Mr. Vice. Vitalik Buterin himself and he has Vitalik.eth and you can see his 4,092 ETH right here, $8 million and then approximately $3.7 million in altcoins as well. So learning how to use Etherscan, there's a ton of benefits as I mentioned. First, you'll be comfortable to navigate any blockchain explorer on any blockchain network, which is huge because there's a lot of opportunities if you're watching the right wallets or if you just stumble on a new contract a new token um, and it looks great so if you guys have any questions post them below and we'll see you guys in the next Dex Tools episode